H I D our lower late to rest. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. All good things must end. Like two heroes in a story. Let's go out like we came in. In a blaze of glory. May track of the Awolowo family and wife of the late Obafemi Awolowo, the late chief Mrs. Anna Idou Didiolu Awolowo, who passed away on the 19th of September 2015, has been laid to rest in Ikene Ogun State. The remains of the late May track, Mama HID, was buried beside that of her long-deceased husband, Chief Obafemi Awolowo. Heap TV was there. <laughs> It's glorious, glorious exit for an icon, a quintessential wife, mother, and politician. We are very happy to be part of this celebration of our life. Her mom was exceptional All right, sir. and her life was a blessing All right, sir. to millions of people. All right, sir. I wish and pray that we have many more mothers like her. Oh, Not only in Yoruba, but in Nigeria as a whole. The last time I saw her, which was just a few months ago, she was sleeping when we arrived. And when they woke her up and immediately they said Dele was there, she smiled and everybody said I shouldn't leave Ikene again. That was mama for you. Very friendly, very sharp-witted. At her age, at 99 plus, Mama remembered everybody. Mama remembered names. Mama remembered stories. And uh, Mama was a formidable woman behind her husband, the late sage, Chief Obafemi Awulowo. And that is why you can see so many people are here today to celebrate her. And uh, I'm happy to be one of them. I pray that the family of Awulowo continue to give this great name that she has done. I can see many faces here. God be the guide and she be the family. So that this name will continue to stay in the memory of this great nation. Well, just to celebrate uh, a woman of substance, our mother, she's done so well for this country, and I feel privileged to be part of uh, an event to celebrate her life. Well, great woman who lived a great life, and uh, she'll be remembered for some attempts. Um, a, a virtuous woman. Uh, we're really proud of. Uh, her because she lived a wonderful life.